Good Tuesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Several waves of low pressure are working across south central into southeast, across the west coast, and over the interior. The bulk of the wet weather right now focused on the north and eastern Gulf Coast with high pressure helping to blow an onshore wind into many parts of southeast. It does look like there could be some hope as we move toward the end of the week, but in the meantime, a soggy midweek period seems to be shaping up for you. That looks like rainfall will continue around Prince William Sound and the Alaska Range. Points out west of the higher terrain look like they break up a little bit more with low pressure sitting right over the Yukon-Kuskokwim Delta region today, 995 millibars. The west side of that has some drier and cooler air blowing in, and you can see that on the satellite picture today with uh, quite a bit of breaks in the cloud cover from St. Matthew all the way down toward the central Aleutians. A look westward, though, shows that will not last very long. Another wave of low pressure is diving into the western bearing tonight, bringing rainfall as far east as St. Matthew and working its way down toward the Probolovs very slowly by tomorrow morning. Watch for showers across southwest, the interior, and across the south-facing slopes of the Brooks Range. The north slope will be cool, but generally cloudy, and most of the precipitation seems to stay just south of your area. Across southeast, watch for rainfall to pick up again as we head through tonight and into tomorrow. The winds will pick up around the Lynn Canal as well. I'll watch for those winds to be a little blustery at times, and you'll see that mentioned in your lo local forecast information. For Wednesday, watch for a widely scattering of shower and thunderstorm activity across the south-facing slopes of the Brooks Range all the way from Ambler and eastward toward Arctic Village and south toward Fort Yukon. The middle Tanana Valley may not see quite as much of a chance for thunderstorm activity, but a little bit further west toward Galena, that chance will pick up once again. Showers continue for southeast and many parts of south-central Prince William Sound, Kenai Peninsula, and even further west, that low-pressure system in the Bering is still strengthening by Thursday afternoon. Down to 998 millibars, it will develop a fairly decent southerly fetch that will start to push more warmth up the west coast, but that also means a push of water heading toward the southwestern coastline. While it doesn't look severe, it does look like you might want to drag your boats up just a little bit further than you do on Wednesday. That trend could continue into Friday there, so keep your eye on the forecast if you're on the south and west coast and around Bristol Bay. Drier weather shaping up for the Gulf Coast communities as we head toward the end of the week. That's the good news for today. With Alaska Statewide Weather, this is meteorologist Dave.